Hello again. Uh, I'd like to explain the same as I did in the in the prior two videos, in which uh, I explained how to to move and how to configure the menus in a Venice or in an FX9 remote, uh, FX9 remotely. But in this case, I'm going to do that uh, with the set to 80. For that, remember in the prior videos, the only thing I need to to do is to connect the the camera to an access point to which I'm going to connect the the equipment from which I'm going to control the, the camera. So in this case, what do I have here? I have obviously the camera, uh, its uh, HDMI output with the menus is uh, addressed to a Ninja in order to, to record the signal. In fact, I'm going to close the lens so that uh, we can see the menus uh, better. The camera is connected to an access point uh, uh, via Wi-Fi. You don't even need to have uh, access to the, to the internet in that access point. And finally, I have an, a tablet which is connected to the same access point so they can view they can see each other in the network what i need to to connect to in the in the camera is to the ip address that the uh, sorry from the tablet to the ip address that the camera has in the network for that there is a, a status button here in the page number 10 uh, i think I think I'm in version 2 or something like that, but my, well, th there, is a, there is a page in the, in the status menu in which I can see that I have the address 192.168 as expected and then 8.120. So this is the address that I am inputted, inputting in my tablet and, uh, well, I have done this before, so I have the, uh, the admin, sorry, the, the user and, and password stored in the cache, but uh, Normally, I would be prompted to input the uh, username and password. Where to find them? I go into the menu, uh, sorry, network menu, and then access authentication. So, this admin and the uh, password that I want to that I want to input, uh, in this case, it's, it's very easy, uh, are the ones that I will need to input when I am prompted in the in the tablet. So, by default, I think that now I will access directly, as you can see, and there are several options. One of them is camera control, as you can see here. I have many, many options on the left side, and one of them is camera control. Inside camera control, I have different things to configure, uh, assignable buttons, uh, main parameters for, for the camera, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but one of them is cursor. And with cursor, what I can do is directly scroll the menus in the camera. You will see that I'm going to, uh, to to go out from the menu, and if I press the menu button, I can see exactly the same things as I would see, or or, or the things I would move through, if I were if I were directly operating the camera. So, for instance, I can go to any menu in the camera. Be careful because if I go, for instance, inside of video and I deactivate the HDMI output. I would run out of the reference for me to scroll the menu. So what you will need to do, for instance, imagine you are a, a camera operator or a reporter who has the camera in a tripod. The only thing that you will need to do is to connect the camera to an access point and to have a cable, for instance, for scrolling the menus. The connection to the access point, preferably, it would be better to, to be via the Ethernet connector in the back side or in the rear side of the of the camera. But you can do that also via Wi-Fi. But be careful because if you are in a in a very electromagnetically uh, noisy environment, like it can be a let's let's say a stadium or a live concert, in that case maybe it's better to do it via the the cable. So basically, this is what I wanted to to explain to you. As you can see, it's very easy. Uh, just as uh, as a recap you need to connect the camera to the network then you need to see which is the uh, ip address the user and the password and then i will uh, access to the camera via a web browser be uh, through that ip address that uh, username and that password and then i can play with the with the menus so i hope this was useful for you and now you will you will surely find some some nice application for that especially with the social distancing uh, situation that we are we're suffering right now so thank you for watching and, and i hope that these kind of contents are useful for you